You guys want to see me throw it. What's going on everyone? I'm doing a, another unboxing video today, but this one I think I'm going to keep it a little bit different. So these discs, um, one of them I really wanted to get because I want to compare it to the old version of it. And the other one is the new um, Rainmaker, uh, the Creator Series disc. Uh, from Eagle McMahon and in the Flex 3 uh, Glow Plastic. Super excited about those. And then I also picked up a couple of the European Open uh, Metal Flake FD3s. And these look pretty flat on top. I think that'll be really nice for some forehands. So, uh, realistically, you don't want to see me unbox these. You guys want to see me throw it. But how does it compare to the X out one from my last video? Let's check it out. Okay, I think it flies a little bit less stable than the old FD3. It is two grams lighter, but let's grab them back and try and get them on some steeper hyzers rather than that flat release. So, I really like this. It flies really quite straight with a sizable bay at the end, but not as overstable as the splice. So I'm gonna try and get it on a steeper hyzer and then on a forehand for you guys to wrap this video up. And I'm also gonna hit up that other FT3, the X out one from the last video on both those shots as well, so we can compare. First up, new Metal Flake European Open FT3. Might re-throw that one, might not, who knows. But let's get the old C-Line FT3, see what that spike hyzer looks like. Now I do have a bit of a left to right tailwind here, so that's going to push those spike hyzers down a little bit and not let them fade back as much. Uh, so far I really like both of them. And I'm curious to try them out on that forehand line. All right, let's get them on some forehands and wrap this video up. Right into the tree, great start. right into another tree. All right, my forehands aren't that great, but I think I can give it a good wrap up from what those two flights were like. So, I really like the new FD3. Metal Flake one with the European open stamp. I think it flies really well backhand, and I wanna say it's a little bit less stable and a little bit less glidey than the old FD3s. That's just from the experience throwing them side by side, but I do think it has a bit less glide and they're also a little flatter on top, which makes them a little bit more comfortable for me to forehand. But either way, whether it's an old one or a new one, I think an FD3 can be a great workhorse for anyone's bag. We're gonna see if they stay in the bag for my next tournament, but until then, I'm gonna be working them in and giving them a much better review and a lot more throws than I just did today. But 
the new FT3, if you haven't picked one up, they're still available on Discmania's site. I'd highly recommend picking one up. I think they're a great disc. And if you like this video, give it a like. If you like me throwing these discs, please let me know in the comments below. That's so important because if you like me throwing them, rather than just unboxing a disc, I'm literally going to pull it out of the box and then just throw it for you guys instead. So let me know down below if this is more of what you want. And I'll see all of you in my next video.